our obsession with true crime. New research reveals why we just can't get enough of these gory stories. Also coming up, the secret behind our dreams. What it really means when we see a loved one vanish while we sleep. And later, when a beauty trend turns into a nightmare. Why one woman's beauty hack left her eyebrows glowing in the dark. We've got your life and style guide from A to Z, starting right now on Life Love Shopping. Welcome to Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. I'm your host, Andrea Jackson. We start the show with a discussion about true crime. We begin by asking this interesting culture question. What is our obsession with true crime? Shows about Jeffrey Dahmer and other high-profile serial killers have become some of the most watched shows on television. I was a young lawyer at the time. I get this call from my boss. He said, I need you to see Jeffrey Dahmer. It's my first job. I felt like Clarice Starling in Silence of the Lambs. While it might seem disturbing, experts say there is a biological reason behind our fascination with these morbid storylines. Researchers say that our obsession with true crime is our way of preparing for what might happen in the real world. And they believe the obsession is nothing new. Scientists believe the fascination with true crime started around 300,000 years ago when humans started using language. A new poll from 2000, true crime fans reveal 76% believe their fascination could help them avoid a similar situation. From a nightmare scenario to our dreams, what do they really mean? Now, thanks to dream expert Kelly Walden, we don't have to guess anymore, or at least that's what she claims. The best-selling author describes how to interpret three of the most common dreams. First up, how about this one? A loved one vanishes. You're dreaming of a family or friend who's passed away, and as soon as you get to them, poof, they're gone. So what does it mean? Well, Kelly says this is the brain's way of saying that they will always be with you and your relationship transcends time and space. Next up, you're driving a car and all of a sudden your brakes no longer work. Now, according to the dream expert, this means you're doing your best, but there are roadblocks you cannot overcome. Don't worry, you likely need to find a different path. She recommends if you're having this recurring dream, don't be afraid to ask your friends for help. And finally, who doesn't love a dream when you come into a windfall of cash? Well, this likely means you're on a journey of power and independence. Your brain is saying you need to trust yourself to continue accessing higher levels of abundance. Turns out dating is truly a numbers game. A mathematician recently revealed his numeric formula for love. According to a professor from the University of Exeter, you raise your chances of finding your true love after meeting a certain number of dates. Now here's his formula. To raise your chances, you only need to date and reject the first 37% of those interested in you. Your next best match will be found in the remaining 63%. Are you with me so far? It's known in math circles as the optimal stopping problem. In simple terms, it's choosing a time to take a certain action in an effort to maximize the reward with the least amount of effort. Well, many of the best romantic moments begin and end with a snuggle on the sofa. So what does your cuddle behavior say about your relationship? One expert unpacks the meaning behind the way you get comfy on the couch with your loved one. We're gonna start with the cuddle huddle. See which one best matches your relationship. These types of sofa snugglers cannot get enough of each other. This is a sign of comfort and mutual intimacy. It can serve as romance reassurance for both partners. If you're a few years into your relationship and you're still leaning in on the couch, you're likely in a good one. Next up, the cuddle mirror. Now this sofa setup indicates you're still intimate, but you're also okay with a small distance between the two of you. It represents closeness and comfort. This is common for people who understand one another straight away. Next up on our list, the cuddle dividers. Here we go. Experts say the big divide is a display of independence. Each person might have their own favorite nook on the couch with no evidence that the drift could mean there's a rift. Separation isn't a bad thing if it's all about settling into your spot. Or maybe 
maybe you are more of a cuddle boss when it comes to the couch. The boss takes up the most space on the couch with their legs draped over the other person. While it might suggest a power play, it's really more of a sign indicating closeness and relaxation. And finally, the family cuddle. This position opens up the sofa to your pets or children. The couch in this case takes on the same kind of feel as the dining room table. Pets and children are placed in the middle to show nurture and affection. Well, one woman's beauty hack left her eyebrows glowing in the dark. Chloe Michaela posted her results on social media. She was hoping to achieve the laminated brow look with a glue stick. Well, the trick's supposed to make your brows appear brushed up and clean. Well, instead, the UV lights at the bowling alley made them glow in the dark. Here's a closer look at the beauty hack gone wrong with a little side-by-side -side view for you. On the left is her brows with the brushed up look, and on the right is her hack under the blue light at the bowling alley. That's a big oopsie. Other beauty hacks gone wrong thanks to TikTok using hair dye to give the appearance of freckles, using perfume to dye your hair, both considered dumb and dangerous by users. It's an age-old travel question. Do you check or carry on your luggage? One blogger aims to end that debate. The professional hobo has gone back and forth and since last check has returned to Team Carry On. The pros of the Carry On, according to the popular travel blogger, stress-free, faster airport arrival, moving around is easier, packing is simple, and you save money. The cons, your wardrobe is limited, winter destinations are tough, limited space in overhead bins, and you might have to check it. No room for souvenirs either. Your destination or the season will likely dictate which travel option is your best bet. Lifestyle expert and We Gotta Talk podcast host Sunny Abada shares her thoughts on trips that had the most impact on her life. Now, mind you, our yearly vacation was to the Jersey Shore, so we did that every year. No hate, no shit. Like, literally loved that trip. Every year of my life, until I was 18. Shout out to the Villanova Motel. But I took two really amazing trips across the ocean that have impacted me forever. Both with my Norwegian friend, Marianne, who kindly took me along her family vacation to the French Riviera when I was 14, like a girl from Pittsburgh who had never been farther internationally speaking than Toronto. Just mind blown. I will never forget the clearness of the water and seeing the sea urchins um, growing on the rocks. It was just absolutely incredible. And two years later, I went back with Marianne. We stayed in her stepmother's apartment on the Seine, the river in Paris. It was the year that France, that Paris hosted the World Cup. And I, or like, you know, France hosted the World Cup, but like the celebrations were happening in Paris. And I rode on the back of a motorbike of a man named Laurent when I was 16. Probably not the smartest decision I've ever made. Could have been the beginning of uh, one of those movies with Liam Neeson taken. Could have been. Thank God it wasn't. Otherwise, just an incredible, incredible trip. What are some trips you guys have taken that have changed your life? Let me know. More LLS right after this. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. If you live it, you love it, or buy it, we talk about it right here. The secret recipe to Coca-Cola remains under lock and key in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where we find Mitch English from Daily Flash as he gets an inside look at the world of Coca-Cola. It is a part of Americana. We're talking about Coca-Cola, and it's right here in Atlanta, Georgia, the world headquarters as well as the world of Coca-Cola. All your questions can be answered, and we get a little sipping as well. served in over 200 countries around the world and that's one of the great things about it. It's something that brings us together and you can share memories, you can share stories. It's really neat to walk around the attraction and hear the different languages being spoken even if it's only a slow day in the winter and they only have a couple of thousand guests. I can guarantee you there will be at least 10 to 15 possibly 20 different languages spoken on one of those days. We have guests from all over the world, every continent, and say how much they enjoy learning a little bit more about this beverage that's been a part of their lives, even though they're far, far from Atlanta, Georgia, where it all started. The location 
location of the world of Coca-Cola isn't by accident. It's located in downtown Atlanta on a 22-acre tract of land. The area was pieced together right around the 96 Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta. And sitting on the exact spot where the Coke Olympic City was located, just eye shot from the Coke World Headquarters. Coca-Cola's plan was to use the area to be an engine for business and commerce, as well as to help the community. So we had granted land for the Georgia Aquarium to be built on. Similarly, we did the same thing for the Center for Civil and Human Rights. So you have three of the top attractions in Atlanta located here where you can park one time and you can really spend the afternoon. And it's really one of those things that brings you back home if you're traveling abroad or when people travel to Atlanta, if they live outside the United States, they have a connection with it as well. And it's really neat to see how those two marry and really just bring us all together over one drink. Now, while that one drink might be the reason that you're coming to the world of Coca-Cola in Atlanta, it's not the only one that you can actually try. In the Taste It Tasting Room, you get your chance to sample flavors of drinks from all over the world. But my advice, stay away from that Beverly Soda. It's from Italy, a very odd taste, <laughs> not my favorite. But you will get your taste worth when you stop by. Uh, now, you can't tell anybody that you've actually been there unless you bring back a souvenir, right? And you're going to find just about anything Coca-Cola there so you can take home that excitement and memories right there to your own hometown. everyone to come visit us at World of Coca-Cola. Spend a few hours here with your friends or family. Have that thirst for knowledge, but also bring your thirst to the tasted experience because you're going to have a chance to try a ton of beverages that you would not get to try otherwise unless you just traveled around the world. Mitch, thank you. Who doesn't love a good ice cold Coca-Cola, right? Especially on a hot summer day. Life Love Shopping is part of KSA Entertainment. KSA Entertainment promotes positive programming, highlighting lifestyle news, health and entertainment. We've got other shows as well in the KSA family. They include The Daily Flash, Daily Flash Latino, Flash Fitness, and Flash Travel. For more information on anything you've seen on the show today, you can just head to our website, llsshow.com. You'll find previous episodes, information on all of our guests, where you can watch the show, and how to follow us on social media. Much more ahead on Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. We're always looking for ways to make our life easier, and we've got some great home improvement hacks from FamilyHandyMan.com. Check these out. Coffee bag ties. Certain bags of coffee come with those heavy-duty ties. They're usually only secured by a dab of glue, so remove them, set them aside, and use them for organizing and containing cables, cords, and rope. If you're a wine drinker, save those corks, especially the synthetic kind. They work great as a way to save sealants. All you need to do is drill a small hole in the cork about an inch deep. The cork should fit right over the point and keep it airtight. And instead of throwing away those six-pack cartons, use them to help you organize. This is perfect if you're looking for budget-friendly ways to organize your garage. The six-pack cartons are great for spray cans, cans of insect repellent, even sealers and other fix-it products. Destination weddings can be a solid choice when it comes to combining a celebration and a vacation. And now you can celebrate with the Golden Arches, believe it or not. We're talking about the McDonald's wedding meal being offered when you tie the knot in Indonesia. You could cater an entire wedding for just $2 a head with about 100 guests. So for roughly 200 bucks, the fast food giant will cater your special day with 100 chicken sandwiches, 400 chicken nuggets, plus their famous orange soda. The Knot.com says the average wedding party in the U.S spends around $70 per guest on a meal most everyone forgets. Proposals are unique to every couple, the time, the place, the planning. However, some etiquette experts believe new traditions are sidelining some of the old standards. A British Guide to Modern Manners suggests proposing is no longer the sole role of the man. And when it comes to who should be the first to know, moms and dads at the top of the list, that hasn't changed, followed by a round of phone calls to close friends. Then you can text or email everyone else. The Debrett's Handbook also suggests when it comes time to 
pop the question, never upstage another event. One other note, they say it's no longer necessary to ask for dad's permission before proposing. However, many disagree on this one, saying some traditions like this one need to be honored. We go from marriage proposals to one of the most famous left at the altar scenes from HBO's Sex in the City. What's going on? Where are you? I was out front. I just left. Heartbreak City. Well, when it comes to heartbreak, we've all felt it, right? One author says dealing with the disappointment requires its own unique skill set. Author Petty Mallory says there are five easy ways to cope with a broken heart. She says first, you could try taking a cold shower, or you could do something to leave your comfort zone. Also, look at a challenge as an opportunity. Try visualizing and don't wallow. Mallory says any one of these options can help rebuild your mental toughness and mend your heart no matter your age. It might be the season to pop the question with a natural diamond. Experts say natural diamond jewelry can make a real impact, and many are on a mission to make these meaningful purchases. Here's more. It's that time of year again. From jingle bells to wedding bells, tis the season to pop the question. The holidays are known for storied engagements. In fact, 19% of engagements in the U.S. occur in December, the most of any single month. Experts say couples have become more intentional when choosing the right diamond for their engagement ring. Natural diamonds have a real impact on diamond communities. They fund programs for leadership, education, entrepreneurial skills. These are things that are setting these communities up for success. Over 10 million people worldwide depend on the natural diamond industry for their livelihood. The nonprofit Diamonds Do Good says the diamond you choose can be just as important as who you choose to spend forever with. So Diamonds Do Good is all about global impact on a community level. So when you go to purchase your natural diamond, not only should you shop small and shop local because local retailers are truly the heartbeat of communities. You're, when you buy natural diamonds there, they're making a difference on the ground all around the world. Looking to make a real impact on real people? Small business owners say the holidays are an important time to give back. And it's just as important to allow the biggest decision of your life to do the same. So we are finding this year that the holiday shopping is starting early and people are coming in and they want to know that their purchase is it's doing good and so they're gravitating towards natural diamonds not only for the value but also for the meaning that it gives. Visit diamondsdogood.com to learn more and to find a local jewelry retailer near you. Show the love and shop locally at these locations or online. Much more ahead on Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. If you live it, love it, or buy it, we talk about it right here on the show. Eating right and exercising can be a 24-7 obsession. Nutrition and health specialist Sarah Baker recently joined us on Daily Flash to break down some of the biggest diet myths when it comes to losing weight, including why all calories are not created equal. Yeah, so this one's kind of similar to the first myth. So for those who are losing weight and who are following the old approach of just being in a caloric deficit, they could be eating junk all day, but keeping it to like 1500 calories or yes. Sure, you, maybe you'll lose some weight temporarily, but what are all these processed bars or protein replacement powders going to do for you nutritionally? What if you're eating cupcakes every day, but still hitting that deficit, but you're enjoying that pure cane sugar day in and day out? Well, that's gonna cause another type of metabolic illness or disease. So the point here is that the types of calories are even more important than simply just counting calories because everyone's reason for weight loss is so different. If you're trying to lose weight because you have insulin resistance, for example, then you need to have very specific types of calories and foods versus just counting down on calories. So when you're shopping for your dairy products, for example, and you're looking for that low fat yogurt, low fat cottage cheese, cottage cheese is having a huge moment right now. A lot of these products actually have fillers, additives, and sugars in them that are working against your health goals. And consuming low fat foods is not really even healthier necessarily than consuming full fat versions, also depending on the type of fat too. There's also studies showing that low fat diets may even not 
be effective for weight loss at all. So we want to look at the types of fats we're eating instead. So you want to opt for all those healthy fats like the olive oil, avocado, nut seeds, coconut oil, and stay away from the trans fats that are found in a lot of those processed foods we like to reach for. My motto in general is always keep it simple and focus on whole foods that you can source from the earth and you will always be in the clear. The more you can cook from home, the better. Good stuff, Sarah. Thank you. For more information on Sarah Baker, check out her website, balancedbabe.com. Life Love Shopping is part of KSA Entertainment. KSA Entertainment promotes positive programming, highlighting lifestyle news, health, and entertainment. Other shows in the KSA family include The Daily Flash, Daily Flash Latino, Flash Fitness, and Flash Travel. Thanks so much for joining us today on Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. Remember, if you live it, love it, or buy it, we talk about it.